Hey guys, I'm going to be doing a speed comparison between the iPhone 4S and the iPhone 5. Okay, to get started, uh, to say the least, this is the iPhone 4S white, obviously, um, 64GB, and it is jailbroken. And this is a iPhone 5, uh, iOS 6, also this is iOS uh, 5. So there's some slight comparisons, but the point of the speed test before you haters and comments, but before you post anything, the point is, I'm from my experience, coming from iOS 5 jailbroken to iOS 6 uh, non-jailbroken at the 4S to the 5. That's my invite and just sent me a message, but anyways. Um, that's my um, experience between the um, two phones. And I wanted to show you kind of like some tweaks I did. Uh, jail, um, jailbroken, this could have slowed it down in some areas, could have sped it up in others. I just kind of wanted to show you uh, like what I did. So um, that's my experience of uh, like somebody going from a jailbroken for us to a five. Um, they wanted to see like what the um, speed enhancements or everything else are. Both of these are going to be connected through Wi-Fi. This doesn't even have cell service anymore. Even though it picks it up here, it doesn't actually, um, you can't make a phone call or text or anything with it. This is connected with LTE, but it's both are going to be connected with Wi-Fi during this test. As you see in there, this is much faster to get the home screen. I have a tweak that speeds up all the little animations Apple's put in between when you, um, when you like click open an app like that. See that's kind of slow, and I do this. It's fast, but that's um, uh, it's just uh, different. And by the way, the only thing running on this is like um, photos, mail, and um, Facebook. Not that it really affects anything. This has 512 megabytes of RAM. I'm right. This has a gigabyte. It shouldn't matter. Uh, things I noticed um, seems like always settings. See. This always, for some reason, takes forever to load. That was instant. That's one thing. If since I don't have, this is one thing I had jailbroken. Um, SB settings, um, and it allows me to, in the notification center have Wi-Fi on and off, data on and off, location on and off, Bluetooth and airplane mode all right there, just to pull down. Plus, that music controls some other things put in there. That was pretty cool. I don't have that. I really enjoyed that, but. It's nice, at least the general settings to get to that is faster. Um, like that. Go to camera launch. Camera launch, that's one thing that's really nice. Seems like the camera took forever to load. I'm going to go do that at the same time. See the camera loaded there quicker, and it finally loaded here. Um, see that's on the front camera. See the two cameras there. I don't know how well I can do this. Oh, that was on an HDR. Fail. <laughs> but you saw how fast the um, other one did it. It's like twice as fast for photos. For an HDR as well, you saw how slow that HDR was. Take it. One on the right, noticeably faster to save an HDR. About the same speed to save an HDR as this one is to take a regular photo. And I guess this one seen could have been like the photos and zooming in faster because all the animations have sped up with the little thing I did from jailbreaking it. The camera is noticeably faster. Um, other apps, web browsing, we're just going to go both to Safari here. Oh, it's actually the page I wanted to load. Um, we're going to load no one's. I haven't loaded, um, uh, let's just go to New York Times. Okay, it's nothing to do with cash, um, that showed up, that did that, like, last when I first got it, so it's, like, everything's been cleared, it just hasn't in the history. Um, I'm going to press go I'm gonna right here. 
we'll see the f um, the five loads it much quicker. Like I didn't really think I loaded many web pages, but um, see the five has been done, and this is still loading some things up here. I didn't think I would load too many web pages, but um, I do. Like I don't really notice it when I'm in Facebook. I click on links to go load up articles, and they load in a web page, and I really don't notice it. But I guess it, I on like when I had the four ads, I didn't notice I was loading web pages. But this is like noticeably faster to load all this stuff I click on, like through Twitter or through um, Facebook, all the links I click on, and the load notice we click like twice as quick as you saw. Um, another thing with screen size, get that both to turn, you can see how much of a difference of viewing you can actually see, especially at full screen, which iOS 5 did not have full screen. I can't do it on this one. I probably could have did a jailbreak tweak, but as you can see how much more and like the screen quality difference, that's the same page. Really the uh, same brightness controls, but um, you can see like how much better like contrast the uh, iPhone 5 has. and Also screen reflectivity, um, they said the iPhone 5 has less reflectivity as well. That's um, That's a pretty nice thing, and with this Sideboards because it's a bigger screen. I can actually read this. It looks like really small print, but unlike this, I can read it on the 4s. It's just super tiny. It's like here. It's like twice as big, even though it's still really small. And I can actually read the whole page now without having to zoom in and out, unless there's something I wanted like, like read that and like not have to stress on reading it. If I had this in front of my face, I could read all that. But that's uh, my browsing experience is much faster. Uh, like loading. The music is different, like there's two different apps that it's updated. That's quicker to get to. So that scroll is right there, and I don't know why that's so slow. I think it was faster before I jailbroke, so just an FYI. I had seen that this was a little bit faster than what it was. But it's still, yes, notice we, it's, um, I synced everything. This is not really a fresh install of the iPhone 5. And it's noticeably faster YouTube app, for instance. You might go to there. See how much faster that connects, both over the same Wi-Fi network. And see the 4S is actually connected quicker, it has to do with Wi-Fi, this got a lower, little bit lower Wi-Fi signal. Such like that. See this one has City over here and this one doesn't. Uh, like App Store is totally different now. You can see like how fast that connects. It seems like, um... It seems um, faster to like load everything on the new app store it could just be me, I don't know but stuff, well, the thing I like that I'm thinking about though is you don't get kicked back when you go to update your app to where it's updating that's useful um, we're gonna try maps next um, just kinda show you like iOS 6 maps um, have had an issue and this is still Google Maps on the 4S here it's gonna walk on to our current position. So it's nice that that kind of zooms automatically. Google Maps doesn't really do that. Go back to search to get rid of that. You can see Boone, North Carolina, my school, Appalachian State University. You can kind of zoom what direction I'm looking. The maps, one thing, the images look much better on the on the five. They have newer, updated images. Uh, my campus is like totally outdated on this. You can come over here. Like, I mean, it's it's updated, but the the lower res, like to say the least. So, like, as soon as you go in there, and it loses the image. So this is like the closer you get. It's pretty. It's a pretty fuzzy image. If I go to the same spot over here, um, kind of angle it the same way. You can kind of see the two. Like, and the screen difference, like, you can't even see the parking lot in this one, I guess. About the same size now. And you can see, like, how much more real estate you get on the screen. But, zoom in, you can zoom. Notice we farted, and that's actually, it's probably the funny thing is, that's the marching man. I was in marching man freshman year, and that very well could have been, I could be in this picture right here. I don't, I don't know. I might figure out when this picture is taken eventually. But I could very well be like right in this picture over here. Not really sure. Um, 
uh, see just noticed we um it didn't seem any accuracy issues to me like we were going down this road right here and I didn't see really any accuracy issues so it could be just mainly in different areas like I'm sure they have a ton of glitches they will be fixed in probably next month or two so I mean not a big deal uh, I don't use maps too often I just kind of look at it when I'm traveling somewhere I like look, look where I am and such um, overall see do some other things like mail not sure why that Mail is like the same thing you have before I had to press this, now you can just do the up thing, that's iOS 6 change. But um, things like that, uh, one thing, log me in, I'm not going to do it to keep my information safe, but this log me in, I have to log on my computer's notice will be quick, quicker, everything like connects quicker through like, the internet seems to connect quicker and such, and it like loads the app quicker of course and everything else, so that's really nice. And I'm trying to think really anything else, like, see I had three pages of apps, I didn't really sort these into folders, but I have, like, three pages of apps here, and I only have two here, and not even full filled, and they're probably, like, one and a half once I'm, like, jailbroken again on this one. So, I mean, overall, it's noticeably faster. Should you automatically upgrade to the 5? Well, it depends on a couple things. Do you have 4G in your area? Do you have, um... Do you want the bigger screen? Do you use your camera all the time? Do you want that little bit sharper lens? Um, do you want better battery life? I'd say that this has much noticeably better battery life than the 4S. Um, but overall, it, it's down to personal preference. Do you want the bigger size? Do you want the weight? Do you want the metal back? Do you want it cased on it now? Do you want the old accessories? Do you want the new accessories? Um, do you want it cheaper? This is cheaper. It's going to do everything on software level. It's just the only difference in this is hardware. Software, you can upgrade the iOS 6 on the 4S, and everything's going to be exactly the same. So there's nothing to change there. Um, personally, me, I like the speed increase. No, it's noticeably faster in everything I do, even with the jailbreak little tweaks. There's only a few things I miss. Mainly it's the 5 dock icon I miss. But overall, that's about it. You can see what I came from and what I went to for thickness and everything else. If you have any questions, please comment below. And thanks for watching.